tonight. Texas Tech, and more than excited and blessed to have another day to play the game I love. It's a pretty chill day today on campus. It's pro probably the people that don't have student athlete life like me went out last night. So everyone's hiding. It's our dining hall, coming here to eat. I get the same thing every time. Uh, you get chicken alfredo with spicy with bell peppers. Mm -hmm. It's my guy right here, man. Probably the best chef in America right there. You're watching it, baby. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that, my guy. What you doing this weekend, man? You coming to our game? Yeah, I'm coming to the game. I hope this gives somebody a young kid motivation to be like, man, I'm seeing Mike's school. I wish I could have something like that and it'll make him want to work so much harder to get to a place like this, you know? I hope that's all I can do in life, you know, just get somebody motivated to be greater than me and go far with this game. Civil War. Civil War was going on when I was about three, and then we moved to South Africa, and then from there we moved to Canada. So a lot of war, you know, back there there's a lot of poverty going on. So I remember when I was younger, um, one day I had a cup of hot water and I threw it down the, 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 the building, and I had to go back down and get it. In my building there was a bunch of bad stuff going on, these drug dealers and everything in the casino back in South Africa. I remember it was like a Vegas building, like a Vegas, yeah. So. Um, I had to go downstairs and get out. I was so scared. I thought the person was gonna come get me, but my brother took me downstairs. That's probably the only childhood stories I remember playing marbles and cricket. Exactly. <laughs> That's the biggest room I've ever had in my life. You know, my mom has always believed in prayer, and that's what I believe in. You know, I really believe in prayer and believe that it helps a whole lot. And you know, that's why I think everything that's gone on with me, every blessing that I've received in life. It's come from Jesus Christ and come from upstairs, so that's why I never take advantage of anything that's going on, you know, I'm very thankful, and um, I know at any second, you know, you can, you can this, all this can go away. Yeah. Oh, Canada. <laughs> that's my guy. This is my, I take it as my third home, third home, because number one is obviously Toronto, uh, number two is Jersey, without a doubt, I have a lot of friends in Jersey, I lived there for three years, so, and then I say Austin, man, the city is a great city. Have great fans, great people. Hook them hard. It's our locker room. As you can see, my locker is right here with great pride. As you can see, what's under my locker Toronto, Canada. Actually, this is my shirt that I wear before every game under my warm up that Rob made for me. <laughs> this is it right here before every warm up. It's the A team. They think we the A all the time, and we do sometimes. but. There you go, there you uh, go. You're from Canada, eh? Up there in the north. Yeah, they used to say something about Vince Sanity. Who's that? Who's Vince Sanity? You know, the rapper. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. And what? And what? And what? <laughs> JB. Port Arthur's finest. Jacobin Brown. This is for Canada. Canada, man. Look. <laughs> That's the bread and butter of the team right there. No, 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 no. My Cabango is the bread and butter of the team. Well, they call me Big Daddy Gibbs, a.k.a. <laughs> AKA Mr. McNasty. They call me the dream. Down in Mexico, they call me El Sueño. <laughs> so, you know what? Believe the hype. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. I wouldn't trade it at all. Just seeing things around, you know, different sightseeing and different cultures, different type of people. All right, this is a um, focus time, focus on the game. Just gonna play hard and have some fun. Like always, you have to have fun to play this game. And just have fun and ball out. Just a story, like I've always said, for kids that have nothing, because I have nothing, I come from nothing. Just if I could work hard and make it, I'm pretty sure they can. And you know, you're gonna have people that are gonna try and take your dream away. I, I'm just here to tell them, you know, don't let anyone take your dream away. Just keep working and we can make it. Logging off. Good game. Got the win. So, catch up with y'all guys next time. Love Canada. Proud to be a Canadian. And everyone back home, keep cheering for us. 
because we need all the support we can get. All right, God bless.